Hello, welcome back to Blanchish Live. Today I want to show you this technique that I've shown you before, but it's going to be a lot easier today. Um, basically, you can capture like an animated point cloud. Um, if you have like an iPhone or iPad with Face ID. So, and I'm using this app called Record 3D. And we, we can actually uh, render this out as something, it's like a voxel version uh, that looks like a Lego. Okay, so I have the latest app of this Record 3D. So this one I captured earlier. So it's taking, <clears throat> it's recording myself at 30 frames per second. Um, and, and this is uh, something that you capture as point cloud or mesh. And you can adjust the point cloud size on this app itself. Um, you can get rid of the color, things like that. So basically, it's really, really simple. All you need to do is just to go to record and try to capture, okay, try to capture yourself. And yeah, if you want to capture just the hand, for example, uh, it's very easy. All you need to do is just, yeah, just hit record and it's going to capture the whole thing in 30 frames per second. And once you're done, you go back to library and you have uh, the capture oops this one okay so that's the point cloud uh, we just capture and all we need to do is just to export it as a new format which is uh, obj point cloud and then you just share it and once you once you do that you can um, export it out into blender and you can import it into blender so I'm gonna show you one of the result so import the let's see um mass sequence right but in in order to do in order to be able to import mass sequence this is actually an add-on um we need to activate import obj as well so this is the add-on called stop motion obj but in order to use this we need to have this import obj enabled if I just import the OBJ, I'm gonna show you very quickly. It's gonna look uh, like something like this. Okay, it's just a it's just a point cloud. In the past, we don't uh, actually we can import OBJ uh, and PLY with color. Um, I believe this uh, if you export as PLY, it has the color attributes as well. But in this case, we don't we don't worry too much about that. We just want to import a sequence of OBJ. So we use this mesh sequence. And we're going to specify that folder. And then since I already have this uh, name, I just specified here file name. So it needs to have a name in front of it. Um, then just hit load. It's so going to put all the mesh sequence obj into a single object so it's gonna cache the whole thing uh, i think i have around 400 obj each one of them around four megabyte it's gonna load everything into the memory so it's gonna your computer ram also will matter in this case okay this one is taking a while okay anyway you end up with something like this so this is the point cloud I think I took it from this camera angle so let's save this as demo and okay since this is a point cloud I'm using blender 3.2.2 I believe I can actually just render this out Oh, actually, you need you need a newer blender in order to render this as a sphere. In this case, we don't don't worry about it. We can use just point cloud, actually point to volume. Make a small radius. Plug this in, and volume to mesh. This is gonna mesh the point into something that like a like like a normal mesh we have a fat 
fat looking hand here it's kind of cute we can set shade smooth if this is what you want then we are pretty much done we don't get the color you can actually get the color if you export it out as PLY and have the color data so I quite like this and from here <clears throat> if you want to render this out as a, something like a Lego you can use remesh so that's the easy way turn this into block turn off remove disconnect it increase the depth and get a material go back to geometry nodes actually after remesh create another geometry nodes and just set material here the material we can assign you know like a lego give a little bit of reflection and try to render this out with there is already light uh, normally but i'm just gonna make this you might have seen works by the lego man it's very similar to this we in order to make this like a lego you need to instance like a proper lego so it's uh, you can have it like like this so once you have the setup you can import i, th I think you can import another mesh sequence let me try Uh, okay, this okay, blah. Once again, select this. So the process become really streamlined. In the past, I was actually using something like a Kinect, Microsoft Kinect. But this day, I just use the iPhone or the iPad. So we have this. Select this guy and select this guy and then Command L, copy the modifier. So in this case, we might need to have different resolutions for the radius. There we go. That's me dancing. This one have a different voxel. You can use different voxel and also different radius. Stop this. And if you if you want to have different material, so it's a good idea just to name this. You know this like uh this is GM, GN assign material just pipe this material outside so you can have different material for each one of this lego so you want to have a new one red color pink color okay so that's basically the process and and then you can render this out it's kind of abstract but of course you don't stop there because of course you can make like a point cloud of things but you can get rid of everything and yeah you have this point cloud and with point cloud you know with geometry nodes you can just use any other instance objects so instance two points actually instance on points and you can turn that points into any shape oh yeah be careful with the size this is uh, even though geometry node is pretty fast be careful if it's too big it's gonna try to render the whole thing so it's gonna be kind of slow if you're not careful yeah this this one needs small number if you have the latest 
version of Blender. You can render this as a sphere, and it's gonna be really fast if you if you are actually render it as a sphere. You can try random value like minus tau and tau, and plug this into the rotations, and give random rotations. You get the drill. So basically, yeah, from point cloud into something that can be rendered normally in Blender. So you can also render this out with uh, as a grease pencil with outlines, things like that. So this is grease pencil. Let's set this to smaller value. So we have. even smaller so you can adjust the number of fog cell to get more detail as well so yeah this will give you just the outlines so I'm using the the line art in order to get the line art you select the objects and then you go to F3 and then just type in line art you can select scene object or collection line art usually I like to use collections and I just point, it's gonna create a grease pencil and it's gonna point into the collections that you specify. And then so you can have the original objects with the outlines, okay. And or with just the outline itself. But I always find the, the line art is actually really cool. It's really, really underrated, but it's pretty cool. You know, you can get the outline of the 3d based on the point cloud okay so that's pretty much the what i want to show you today hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye